Well, I still have to talk. I have to get a lot off my chest because I'm angry right now. This message is for you elite and for you rich. You guys who run the world and, and manipulate the laws and the politicians, threatening them and twisting their arm behind their backs until they do what you want them to do. You have blood on your hands. You have lied to the American Indians. I see President Obama going to the Indians and the inmates and the different places trying to make up for the clean up some of the mess you guys have done. But there's no way he can do it because you've done it for, for, for decades and centuries. And, you and, your, you and your ancestors have never apologized. You promised the slave. 40 acres and a mule, and they can't even get an apartment. You promise the Indians all kind of help. You run the lottery all over the country. You legalize the lottery so that whatever your reason is, I'm sure all the money's going in your pockets while you dangle a little trinket in front of their faces for the poor man. For them to think, oh, they'll get out of their poverty soon. But you don't teach them how to manage money. You teach them how to get poor again. And you keep that vicious cycle because the poorer get poorer so the richer can get richer. And that lottery, whatever money is made, a few pennies may go to the rich neighborhoods and, and their schools and they get the best equipment and they get the best uh, computers and, and everything they need and all the wonderful scientific programs and all the incentives, everything to help them out. But you get to the poor neighborhoods and all the promises you made about the, the, the lottery, helping the, the, the schools and the educational system hasn't done diddly squat. Some of those people still have schools with no equipment. Some of those, those schools are, 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 are like zoos because you won't pay the teachers the money to make a living enough to deal with the mess that you guys have formed. You took prayer out of the schools. That's on your soul. Because now you got evil and, and treachery going on in school because nobody has authority. Nobody has any say so because you took it all away. And when you took God out, baby, you took, uh, 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 what am I thinking about? When you took God out, you took the sense and the peace and the regulations and the control. You took it all away. And you just let the kids wreak havoc so they don't get an education. They don't know their butts from a hole in the wall. And they don't care as long as they have a cell phone in their hand to play with and games on the TV. Because you've got yours. And you could care less what they don't get. Don't think God doesn't see that. Don't think God doesn't see the dope dealers and the, and the drug cartels that you hired and sent them and hooked them up with different people in certain neighborhoods. That stuff is going to come back and bite you right in your behind. When your sons and your daughters get screwed up by the system you planted. And all the rich people that play games with third worlds and planting AIDS in Africa and, and filling the backs of black men with syphilis for years as a medical center under the guise of giving treatment. You really think God is turning a blind eye to that. All those victimized people. God has mercy, baby, but on you, I'm going to stop before I start letting too much of Pat show. I represent God. I don't hate you, but I sure am angry with you.
for what you have done to our world. And we're the ones that have to suffer for your crap. But we only have to suffer for a minute. Because when God comes, our ship is come in. But when God comes for you, it's all hell. It's on, baby. And it ain't never going to be turned off. Enjoy your destiny and your eternity here. Because whatever you do, do here on earth, you better live it up hard because this is it. And all that you made these people suffer, all that you caused the, the black men and the Mexican men and the Asians and, and those that are underprivileged and the American Indians and all the people that you have made laws for to incarcerate them so you can have modern day slavery. <laughs> And all the big corporations can get off with cheap labor. So you arrest people for warrants and nonsense and tie their lives up and ruin them for the rest of their lives and break up their families so you can get rich. Baby, you're going to have hell to pay. Yes, God is a God of love. Yes, God is a God of mercy. But God does not play. And he says in his word, my spirit will not always strive with you. And when God says, I'm done with you, baby. I'm done. I'm done fighting you. You've laid your bed. You made your bed. Now you're going to lay in it. And when you lay in that bed, you ain't never getting out of it. Please give your hearts to the Lord. Do you know all you guys with all this money? You could turn this world around. You could stop. You could literally stop poverty. If y'all would let go of some of those silos you got piled up so you can keep the, the produce prices high. If you could stop all this greed, stop the greed. It's not just in America. It's in all of you big all you elites and from all the countries, stop this doggone greed because you're killing people. And yes, I know you don't care. But if you give your hearts to the Lord and you see what you really have done, you will change. And people's lives will benefit as a result. <sighs> okay, I'm going to stop. Turn to God while you have a chance. Please, in the name of Jesus, get saved and sa help save this doggone planet and everybody in it. In the name of Jesus.